welcome again so now we were on page one 136 which we know in which we were discussing about this we have previously discussed about the streptococcus pneumonia and viridens group of streptococci which has uh, alpha hemolytic that is partial hemolysis now comes to the group that is complete hemolysis that is streptococcus pyogenes and streptococcus agalacti so talking about the streptococcus pyogenes these are the actually a very important bug because this is responsible for the not only this uh, pyogenic infection or due to the toxigenic infection because they are responsible for immunological disease as well because if you a patient develop a pharyngeal sore throat then after two to three weeks they develop the rheumatic heart disease as well as post streptococcal glomonephritis if that is a pharyngeal if it, there is a skin infection only due to the pharyng due to this streptococcus pyogenes then they will not they will not be responsible for the heart disease they will not be responsible for the rheumatic heart disease but will cause or post streptococcal glomonephritis so differences is that if it is a throat infection it can affect both heart as well as to the kidney but if it is the lung if it is the skin infection it will not cause the post uh, streptococcal rheumatic heart disease it will only cause the post streptococcal glomonephritis this is due to the enzyme that cause the modification that cause the damage to the skin infection it will not only to affect the kidney not to the heart but if it is the pharyngeal then it will affect both to the heart as well as to the kidney now coming to the point it is a gram positive we know gram positive cocaine chain a group is streptococcus Okay, that is if you goes to the uh, <clears throat> its point then we have what are the points you can see over here this is this gram positive cocci that is cast plays negative in streptococcus group in streptococcus group there was alpha hemolytic we've already discussed beta hemolytic that include streptococcus pyogenes streptococcus galaxy and in those differentiation can be done by the basic test so uh, gram positive cocci that is catalyzed negative in a chain or cluster not a cluster it is a chain or pair then it is what type of hemolysis it is a incomplete hemolysis or complete hemolysis if it is a complete hemolysis it can be streptococcus pyogenes or streptococcus agalacti and that can be differentiated by basic and sensitivity test basic and sensitivity is streptococcus pyogenes resistant is streptococcus agalacti so now we are talking about streptococcus Pyogenes and in the streptococcus pyogenes, you can see over there. This is a gram co positive cocaine chain group A streptococcus. It causes the disease like pyogenic bacterial that is pyogenic pharyngitis, cellulitis, impetigo, impetigo that is honey crust lesion and erysipelas. So, patient have the skin infection as well as the pharyngeal infection. In the skin infection, there will be the cellulitis, there will be the impetigo, and that will be the honey crusted. If you see, there will be the honey crusted appearance on the skin on the lesion, then there will be a erysipelas. It due to the toxin produced by this streptococcus will be toxigenic is the scarlet fever we will deal with this scarlet fever what is a scarlet fever actually scarlet fever is a blanching sandpaper like body rash so it is a blanching sandpaper like sandpaper like body rash that and has a strawberry tongue and a circum 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 circle circumoral papular in the setting of a group a streptococcal pharyngitis so these are talking about the group a streptococcal pharyngitis that is leads to the toxinic disease like scarlet fever the scarlet fever will present as a blanching sandpaper like body rash with a st strawberry tongue that is the main characteristic feature they can also cause toxic shock like syndrome okay in, in similar to that of uh, staphylococcus but the lesion will be painful that is important and there will be the necrotizing fasciitis so there will be the facial uh, transfer of this infection on the facial level that will lead to the necrotizing fasciitis they have other diseases like immunological disease as well this is rheumatic fever and glomonephritis i have already discussed in the initially that this patient which has the post which has the pharyngitis infection they will develop this pharyngitis infection and after two to three weeks there will be the development of rheumatic heart disease and post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and this is due to the immunological mimicry since the m protein of this streptococcus that it has mimics the cardiac cell and then the antibody form against this bacteria actually the antibody was formed again this bacteria against the m protein of the bacteria but the similar structure is found in the heart and the kidney and therefore the bacteria the antibody that is present inside our body will try to attack that cell thinking that this is the bacteria 
still present in the body and since the antibody is attacking our own cell there will be the antigen antibody reaction and there will be the development of this immunological disease which we are discussing rheumatic heart disease and process to nephritis okay so these are the group of bacteria as mesotrasin sensitive they are beta hemolytic uh, puir test tube is positive hyaluronic acid capsule and m protein inhibits the phagocytosis antibodies to the m protein enhance the host defense against the streptococcus pyogen but can give rise to the rheumatic heart fever so this is actually is, uh, is is important for bacterial point of view they enhance the things but the antibody that is formed leads to the rheumatic heart disease Diagnosis of strep pharyngitis by throat swab. It can collect the throat swab, do the gram stain. You can found in the chain. It is a catalyst negative. It will be a complete hemolysis will be produced. Then you test with the bacitracin and bacitracin sensitive. Then you can de detect, okay, this is the pharyngeal infection. Even diagnosis of strep, strep pharyngitis by throat swab, which can be tested with the antigen detecting assay. That is a rapid assay. Even antigen test can be done in office research or culture on a blood agar. So culture, I have told you culture, there will be a complete hemolysis. To we get less negative then we can do the basic test, test and we can reach to the diagnosis there is the another rapid test of this antigen detection also that helps to in the in within few minutes a few hours we can do in the office results okay now how to remember what are the disease caused by it what are the key factors like if ps they are trying to be pyogenes p actually spelling p y o g e n e s but they are saying ps as a silent so this is a small part for pharyngitis can result in the rheumatic fever and glomerulonephritis this is the immunological disease the strain causing impurity can in, uh, can induce glomerulonephritis only the, the strain that is responsible for skin disease that will not lead to rheumatic heart disease that will cause only the Glomerulonephritis. Key virulence factor include DNAs, erythrogenic toxin, streptokinase, streptolysin O. The ESO titer or anti DNAs antibody titer indicate the recent streptococcus pyogenes infection. We have discussed about this scarlet fever. Let's discuss this point streptococcus ESO titer and this ESO titer. ESO titer and anti DNAs antibody indicates the recent streptococcus pyogenes infection. So, if a patient get infected, they get cured of the pharyngeal infection, but you are not sure he has got historical pharyngitis or not, then you can do a blood test. In blood test, you can measure this ASO level and anti-DNA's antibody. So ASO is an antibody against the streptolysin O. So anti-streptolysin O, or you can uh, measure the antibody, anti-DNA's and B, anti-DNA's B antibody. So this two information is important for making a scenario and linking to your question. So any patient who has developed the pharyngitis and complaining of now heart disease or have a vegetation in the heart what test you can do to confirm the organism and in that case you can do either aso or anti dns b antibody so do both are present sometimes aso is very common so they will not give in the option aso they can give you this anti dns b antibodies and in that situation you have to remember there are not only the aso aso titer there is anti dns b antibodies also is in the post protocol infection in the recent it indicates the recent infection and because of that you need to remember this point so in a post protocol infection either aso titer or anti dns b antibody can be detected and in there will be one of you option there or not both but one option will there and you have to pick up that answer and your answer will be correct so we have known at least we should know that we are talking about the streptococcal pharyngitis and streptococcal pharyngitis is responsible for the immunological disease which is very important other like pharyngitis cellulitis this impurity honey crusted lesion is important toxigenic scarlet fever which produce the blanching sandpaper but like body rash and strawberry tongue that is also important which is toxigenic mediated but the more important is immunological disease okay the skin strain which only cause the glomerulonephritis whereas the pharyngeal strain will cause the both rheumatic fever as well as the glomerulonephritis that is important and that in their detection can be done by the aso titer and anti dns b antibody which indicates a recent infection if we there does already pass the this culture stage if it is an acute step you can do the culture or you can do the antibody detection in the within few hours now come to the 
this was bacitracin sensitive there is a bug that is bacitracin resistant and that is the streptococcus agalaxy so gram positive okay then catalase negative streptococca in streptococcus group that is alpha hemolytic beta hemolytic in beta hemolytic it is there are two group streptococcus pyogenes or streptococcus agalaxy they can be differentiated by the test known as the bacitracin bacitracin sensitive or streptococcus pyogenes but this bacitracin resistant is streptococcus agalacti and this agalacti is important because it causes newborn sepsis newborn meningitis newborn pneumonia and then cause death of the newborn so this organism is usually important for vaginal delivery women and if you are not going to treat this organism the baby born will develop the neonatal sepsis and they are going to die so you need to screen the and then you need to give the treatment as well let's see the what are written in this there so streptococcus agalacti also known as group b streptococci they are known as the group a group b is group a is streptococcus pyogenes group b is streptococcus agalacti and streptococcus agalacti they are gram positive bacitracin resistant which we have already discussed this is beta hemolytic we also know that colonize the vagina cause pneumonia meningitis and sepsis mainly in the babies that is newborn so streptococcus group b is for actually babies to remember this organism okay the disease causes pneumonia meningitis and sepsis in newborn mainly in babies polysaccharide capsule confirm the virulence produce cam factor which enlarges the area of the hemolysis formed by the staph aureus so if you add this organism the hemolysis you know staph aureus causes complete hemolysis progress agalaxy and streptococcus pyogenes cause complete hemolysis if both organism comes together they enlarge the the hemolytic zone okay they produce the cam factor the cam actually has to understand for the author name but not the cyclic amp because cyclic amp we have talked in the toxin by increasing the cyclic amp there were the certain organisms that were acting exotoxins okay so that is not the problem we are talking about here so if you test positive you are negative screen pregnant woman what is the main important for this organism because this is causing newborn baby the pneumonia meningitis and sepsis so if it is not going to delivery it is not related to baby this is not of much concern bacteria but if a we are dealing with the pregnancy delivery then pregnant women should be screened screen pregnant patient at 35 to 37 weeks and gestation with rectal and vaginal swab if you do the rectal and vaginal swab in the last trimester before delivery at 35 or 37 weeks before that it is not much important only at the time of delivery because during delivery if this organism is, is actually normal flora in the perineum and vagina of a female and if it is present then it can come through the, during the delivery into the baby and the baby can aspirate and form the pneumonia meningitis and sepsis and can die so pregnant women who are if they have this organism then we have to screen it if it is present then we have to previously start the antibiotic and try and kill this organism so our 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 target is screen the pregnant patient at 35 37 weeks gestation with rectal and vaginal swab patient with a positive culture should receive the and trapartum penicillin and ampicillin prophylaxis so the main aim is of this antibiotic is to kill this organism so that during delivery this organism doesn't come into the baby and baby doesn't develop this pneumonia meningitis and sepsis so hope you have understood this streptococcus agalacti and streptococcus pyogenes and these two are the very important organism they are responsible for the transfer lots of disease and they have like streptococcus pyogenes had immunological disease whereas streptococcus agalacti has this um, babies related disease and they need they are actually have importance and they can give you a scenario and ask you a question so we need to be ready for that thank you if you have any pro problem you can like the video you can subscribe it you can share it and if you have any problem in any part of microbiology immunology and other subject also mainly if you have now we, since we are dealing with the microbiological video you can comment below you can ask your question and i'll try to uh, sort out your problem very fast thank you